and I'm back. With the reverse sled, one of the pointers you can use is to kind of lean back while pulling the weight. Um, So today, in the morning, I played around with uh, my kettlebell and stuff at home, but didn't really record any of that. Um, but uh, I'm at the gym now and decided to do some resisted cardio. Uh, cardio because my heart rate gets high and resisted because there's resistance involved. Um, for the first exercise, I'm doing backwards sled while holding an overhand kettlebell. The overhand kettlebell for shoulder stability and a one-armed backward sled drag for the quads. I'm gonna use one arm one way and the other arm the other way. On days that I really can't come up with much to do, I usually just default to uh, something sled and kettlebell based, but in a circuit form to get the heart rate high. I'd much rather do something cardiovascular on most days rather than uh, uh, like, stretching or like I always want something that gets my heart rate high almost every day. <sighs> Supersetting that with <sighs> kettlebell, alternate kettlebell swings. So <sighs> Going for eight, then going for five staggered deadlift. I'm going to repeat this circuit for five sets and then do something else. So I've gotten a little carried away with the weight on the sled, but that's okay. I'm feeling a little strong on the sled, so I don't want to let that feeling go to waste and do want to overload the sled where possible. And I'm supersetting this with the kettlebell explosive movement, and I'll show you what that is when I'm back. With the reverse sled, one of the pointers you can use is to kind of lean back while pulling the weight. Um, what I've noticed is leaning back helps me drive more with the quads, uh, allowing me to bring the weight back. And the sled is also a really good way to get your heart rate going while using quite a bit of weight. And since there is a lot of resistance involved, you're still getting that stimulus of oh, resistance training. So 
you can hold on to a lot of muscle while training the cardiovascular system. Then with the kettlebell, doing kettlebell flips to snatches. Looks like this. Oh, going for 40 tight of that. By the end of both of those, my heart rate's like at 170. And, you know, getting a lot of cardio work in while moving quite a bit of weight. So yeah, I think it's a good way to hold on to muscle mass while burning fat. I'm gonna do this for a bit. So I'm not gonna record the sled each time I do it, but I'm supersetting this next exercise with the backward sled. Um, with the kettlebell, I'm doing staggered squats. Uh, looks like this. So getting the kettlebell to clean position and opting for a staggered stance and then gonna stay on my toes and squat. Ah, shit. Lost my balance. Ah. But see, that's the thing. It's not good to not how to have shitty balance um so yeah it's good to do exercises like this that also require you to have balance Oof. going for five each stance Going for five each side and supersetting that with the backward sled. So moving into some kettlebell complexes. Um, so a kettlebell complex is usually just like a couple of uh, kettlebell movements performed back to back and then, uh, yeah, I guess repeated. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is a swing, a thruster, and a side clean to a dead stop. So a swing, thruster, a side clean, dead stop. Not good. All right, let's get back into balance. Oh, 
Oh, my form isn't the best on the side queens, but you know, sometimes you gotta force it through for a bit till your body starts learning the form a little better. Um, in any case, I'm gonna do this for a bit. Today's workout really lacks too much structure, but you know, it is what it is. As long as calories are getting burned, and weights are getting moved. I don't know. Some days, just that's enough. Anyway, gonna do this for a bit. Maybe one or two exercises before I hit the sauna. Moving into some cable good mornings for mobility, and then gonna do some abs after. I also wanna, wanna try if I can flow or with the 62 kilo kettlebell. So that's probably abs and that's probably what's up after this. But with this, keeping my feet wide apart and slowly letting the weight pull me forward. And then coming back up. Uh, it's dragging me forward. If the weight's pretty heavy and it's dragging you forward, you can actually kind of keep a light bend in your knee and use the heel to keep you on the floor. Going for five reps of that, five to eight reps. This set was particularly heavy, so I just stopped at five. Uh, great for hip mobility and all that good jazz. Uh, but yeah, gonna do this for a bit, then abs, then a kettlebell, heavy kettlebell flow or freestyle, then sauna. For the ab exercise, doing lying knee raises on the cable machine. So I'm gonna get each of these handles attached to my feet and I'm gonna try and bring the knees to chest. Great exercise for the hip flexor and lower abs. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this for three to five sets. Then heavy kettlebell, then sauna. So after messing with the heavy kettlebell today, I kind of, I guess, felt confident that I could do some of the moves that I've been doing with the 12 kilo, 25 pound one with the 62 pound one. And so uh, I'm gonna try and freestyle with the 
a 62 pound one and let's see how it goes. Right after they pass by. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh yeah, pretty much I can do the figure eight with the mug now with the 62 pound. That's kind of cool actually. I wonder over time if I can do all the same moves that I do with the 25 pound, with the 62 pound. That'll be pretty insane. Anyway, that's it for today's video. See you all tomorrow.